ladies and gentlemen, once again. And first of all, uh, you know, um, I'm deeply grateful to Jackie and Deepika, Deepshika, because she's, they've joined us here today, tonight, uh, for the Small Business Awards and the Entrepreneur Show. Um, so Jackie is, in fact, meant to fly uh, outside India in a matter of about 40 minutes. Uh, so we're going to have to make this short uh, and quick and want to understand really about the work that they're doing. We've been watching their work for such a long time and, you know, their father's work as well and their company, which is Pooja Entertainment. So I'm going to start with you from there. So, you know, even as youngsters, I'm sure your exposure to movies and your exposure to how movies were made was be very high. So how, how have you seen or how have you seen Pooja Entertainment growing and what is it that you are doing uh, to make Pooja Entertainment the world company um, with the kind of work that you are doing? So uh, let's start with you. Jackie. So firstly, thank you. Thank you so much for having me, uh, everyone. And uh, so business se mein kehna chahunga that, you know, uh, uh, our idols is, 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 is our dad, right? My dad uh, footpath pe saari bejte te, right, in Calcutta. That's where he started from. So business is, I guess, in our blood and business is worship. Work is worship. That's what we've learned all our lives. Uh, I remember when we were little, we were Bombay from Calcutta. And uh, Amit uncle was standing on Sunday with candy floss. And uh, when we made Bade Mia Chote Mia, and we told him that, dad told him that, um, he didn't believe it. So a lot of people feel that, uh, you know, this is a lot of generations, it's not something like so, uh, <laughs> it was a very emotional moment for our And uh, Pooja Entertainment, basically, the main boss uh, is my mother. She is Pooja. And the inspiration for my dad to start this company was Pooja. So that's why Pooja Entertainment. And uh, if you see the new logo of Pooja Entertainment, it's red color. And it started with one man and inspiration, one woman, which is my mom. And the new, new logo has... Uh, all of us now holding hands and the team has grown. So that's the journey of Pooja Entertainment. Um, a and, uh, a big yeah. round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. My job, <laughs> my job <laughs> since past four or five years is mainly primarily to creatively grow the company in a way where uh, we can do more films, you know, we can do better films. Uh, and the whole dream of ours is Dad ne agar 40 film mein 25 saal mein banaye hain. The aim is uh, to make the next 40 films in the next five to seven years. Uh, that's, that's the aim and that's the dream. That's, that's certainly a good aim uh, to have. And uh, mashallah, we love to see all those movies. Uh, and we look forward to. And I can dance also. <laughs> um, so you know. Now I understand that you are currently, and we've all loved Bade Mia, Chote Mia in its first, French, in its first sort of version. And, uh, you know, we've danced on all the songs ourselves. And now you're making a franchise of it and you're making... This is also a very good story. You know, Bade Mia, Chote Mia, it's one of my favorite films. And we were sitting, so what is it? I said, Dad, Bade Mia, Chote Mia 2. And so he said, two actors ko is time pe lana together is like having two girlfriends at the same time. It's impossible. I said, Dad, you also did it back in the day. How did you do it? And that's where the journey started. And we worked day and night, day and night, day and night. No, but I want to say that when we were sitting in that room and brainstorming on this, my dad said, I can't do it. Jackie, if you can do it, you know, come back to me with it. And he actually came back convincing Akshay sir and Tiger to do the film. And in, uh, when, when is it likely to come out? Uh, next uh, uh, Eid, uh, 2024. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've got another new franchise coming up and I think we're all looking forward to watching it. Um, and of course, there is Ganpat also that you're doing with Amitabh Bachchan. I That's uh, Mr. Bachchan. There's Tiger, Shroff, Kriti Sanan. And what is that about? Is it a remake or is it something that you're surprised? So, you know... Uh, my sister and me have been working very hard and we have five films coming up in the next 10 months. And we would uh, proudly want to say that they are all original films. So even if you're using the title, Bade Mia Chote Mia, we're just using the title. But we are making a brand new film out of it. Um, so yeah, we are going to serve old wine in a new bottle. <laughs> but all original films. So 
So Deepshika, not just Jackie, but I see that you are also doing a lot of new films by yourself. So, so you know, we make all our films together, a film made on coal mines. And it's India's uh, first successful coal mine rescue film. And, uh, you know, Kala Pathar Ke Baad, there's nothing really made in this space which is highlighting this. And that's what made us go for this racy mission and this story. And, you know, Abhi, jaise, I don't know if everyone's seen with Ocean Gate when the Titan got lost. There were just four people on the Titan. And there was only 17 hours of oxygen. And I know everybody was glued to their social media to understand, are they alive? Is something happening? And I think that's the feeling you get when you see so many miners actually stuck down there and how it's a real story inspired by Sardar Jaswan Singh Gilji and how, uh, you know, he managed to get them out of track, out of uh, the coal mines. So Brilliant. that's the story. Uh, and they're always incredibly, uh, you know, they, they, make you, they make you sad, but at also part, they also inspire you a lot. Uh, about the work that needs to be done in our society. So I think um, we do need movies like those uh, which truly inspire us to do much better work and yeah. improve our businesses yes. uh, in one sense to make them more people friendly, which sometimes we forget <laughs> in everyday life. Um, but I would like to add, you know, uh, what is amazing for me, uh, you know, for female entrepreneurs especially, uh, is that she was managing her kids. She was on set. Uh, my dad's not an easy man. <laughs> He's a taskmaster and uh, Akshay's a senior. So yeah, it was it was a tough one for her to pull off uh, the production. It was her first production and she gave it her all. And I've, uh, I've, uh, I've uh, got the opportunity to see the edit. And I think uh, it's, it's, it's one of the films which uh, Pooja Entertainment will be really proud about. And do you um, also plan to release these movies on OTT first or how, how will it work? They are all coming on theatre first. Ah. <laughs> theatre first. Cinema, you know? cinema, cinema. You all go to theatre and go to the film. So, you know, I know that both of you are also doing a lot of work on the animation space, uh, wherein you're making a lot of animated content. Um, so, you know, we uh, probably as audience, we're all very used to watching um, Western animation and of course while Chota Bheem and everybody we got a bit tuned to India but I still feel it's a wide open market you know not a lot has been done on the animation side so what is what is the big opportunity that you saw there? So I think Pooja Groups now uh, has an arm called DB Films and Animation and we are all collectively working to take Indian stories whether it's you know I mean we see the Avengers of the world and Spider-Mans and Supermans and I'm like you know Das Hazar Pele, we had the original superheroes, our Saptrishis, you know, we're not talking enough about them. Our mythology, uh, talking about the mythical worlds, teleportation. There are so many things in India that have come out of it. You know, everything that we can't do in the live action space, now we've all decided to do that in the animation space. So I think that's something that we want to tap upon. And the industry is growing ferociously. From 2021 to 22, it's grown 25%. By 2025, I think it's, they're expecting 62 billion growth in that sector by 2025. So I think it's a strategic decision to take our stories and proudly present them to the global audience. Sure. And, you know, uh, I know that you also released one of your uh, productions on the metaverse, which was, I mean, you know, the metaverse itself is so new right now. Um, you know, so what, what made you go ahead and, you know, become more technology, integrate more technology into your entire production? And in future, what are you planning to do in that direction? So we launched our trailer uh, on the metaverse. Uh, on the metaverse. Uh, see, the whole idea is that we feel that, you know, media and technology will go hand in hand. As, as technology is going to grow, you will need some kind of media or content to back it, either in the form of tutorial or in the form of usage. So I feel that they will go hand in hand, and if they will go hand in hand, uh, we want to be one of the first players, uh, you know, uh, to walk that path. To be but I also want to say to what he's saying, expanding on that, is that we're always looking of ways to get the Gen Z in, but the Gen Alpha, like my kids are now eight and nine, they are living in virtual realities through these gaming stuff. So if we are not going to serve them things the way they want, you know, they're not going to be consuming a lot of it. So I think constantly, Jack, Dad, they're always like, tell us ways of how we can do it. And that's how we sort of decided to take a step forward uh, and create our own metaverse for Pooja. 
So while we're on the subject of technology, I know both of you are also very excited about startups. So Jackie, I know that you've done a couple of your own startups, Just Music, and then uh, you also have White Canvas, which are very digitally empowered businesses. Um, so you know, what? how did your interest in startups on the other side, other than the production side, also come to develop? And you know, what is it that you're planning to do in this space? Um, you know, I just said that earlier that someone told me that uh, it was, uh, I'm just going blank, but a very big economist told me that, uh, to told someone, they went on a college summit, and the child asked uh, uh, that economist that, sir, how do I become rich? So he said that, you want to be rich or you want to be wealthy? So he said, what's the difference? He said, if you want to be rich, you should work very hard, you know, either do a job or you know, open a shop or work, and you'll be rich if you work hard. But if you want to be wealthy, you have to be a shareholder. Right. <laughs> So, I said, uh, 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 everyone wants to be wealthy, at least I want to be, and I want to, you know, finally take the family legacy further ahead in a big way, in whatever capacity I can. And I felt that, you know, uh, you know, start investing in startups, whatever I believe in. So, just music, what I started four years back, because I'm a dancer, I like music. Uh, it started off initially as a music company. And we did some interesting, we're doing some interesting music. But of late, since past one year, we've diversified, we've changed it to just group. And we have six verticals. There's just music, there's just kids. So there's animated content, uh, musical content uh, for zero to eight, uh, which is edutainment music, uh, like uh, Baby Shark, the song. Then there is just originals, uh, which is uh, for branded content and advertorial content, just life which is live concerts. Then there's just puja. Uh, this is mainly for my mom, but uh, for devotional and meditational content, and so on and so forth. So that's, that's what Just Group is all about. And there's yeah. White Canvas. Then there is D2C Commerce, uh, a D2C brand which I've invested in. There's a brand called Ahikosa. So there are four or five brands. Uh, and you plan to do more investments? Yeah, if I make more money, I would love to do. <laughs> more well. I would love to do. Well, for anybody who's looking to raise capital, you know who's <laughs> door to knock right now. <laughs> um, Deep Shikha, you also launched a D2C skincare brand. And you know, how, how did that come to happen? It's so different from movies. I think when I turned to mother, my son had multiple skin allergies. And at that time in 2016, there wasn't much available in the natural and organic space. And that's how I ventured into uh, Love Organically. And that's how the brand came about. We were essentially a luxury space market, feature, you know, uh, just selling online and sort of understanding that space. But now, uh, this year, we're planning to do some big tie-ups and take it um, offline, take it to brick mortar stores, and sort of make wellness, which is, I think it's, everyone's right to good skincare, good wellness, and we want to take that um, to the tier twos and tier threes and fours of India. You know, so that's finally, what we intend to do. And I think it's a big opportunity right now with the kind of space he's doing D2C commerce and then you're doing D2C brands. So I think that's He's also happens. part of mine. He's <laughs> the investor in mine as well. <laughs> Charity I begins at home. I have done nothing. <laughs> Truly knock on his doors. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, finally, I would love to know from you, um, you know, uh, from your father, of course, you know, I know both of you have taken your entrepreneurial inspiration from him. So, you know, one thing both of you and independently can share, one thing that you feel that you've learned from him and truly remains with you all the time when you're taking any business decisions. I think one thing I've learned, I learn from him every day, actually. But one thing I've learned from him is uh, never depend on anyone. You know, never, never, of course, we need to have a team, we need to have a structure, we need to have an organization, but back of the head, no one in the system should ever feel that they should always have that fear in the head that, that the promoter is capable of doing everything. small business owner, I I think for, for me, I've always learned uh, because he's always told me to believe in my dreams. He, you know, because I'm, I'm always a little like, should I do it? Can I? And he always says that if you set your heart and mind to it, and if you think you're capable of doing it, you will. You know, he's the kind of man, no matter where he is today, if he sees the driver is not here, you know, 
call for an Uber, take off, take off. But he's like reaching that position, reaching on that time is more important than anything else. So make sure that you believe in where you're going and do it with all your heart. No, I think it's the blessings of our parents that always stay with us and, you know, make There's us... There's also a film I want to make on his life. Yeah. I've already registered a title. It's called Tycoon. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's a big thought. And, you know, um, it's... it's uh, You know, they give us their blessings. And in turn, I think this is the best... Or the smallest thing I think we can do to make them feel special and to bring their story to the rest of the world. So thank you very much. Thank uh, you Jackie. so much thank for having us. Thank you very so much, much. Deep Shikhats. Pleasure talking to you.